guys, welcome back to Ganchi Plans. Uh, today's video was actually requested by uh, Samya Singh. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. Thank you for your comment uh, recently on one of my videos. If you've been around here, I don't know, you might not know, uh, one of my most popular videos of all time that I consistently get, like, it's in the top 10 videos every single month for whatever reason, is my uh, Pilot Friction Hacks and Tips video, which I'll link in the corner if you haven't seen it yet. I also did another um, friction video where I was testing um, what happens when you leave your friction pens out in the car or when you... Um, leave the friction ink out in the car, in the sun, stuff like that. It was a really interesting video, so I'll link that in the corner as well. Anyway, today we are doing another friction pen video. These are from Pilot. I love them, and I use them a lot. There's a bunch of different kinds. Um, but today we're talking specifically about the eraser. So first of all, if you don't know, the friction ink is awesome. It comes in all kinds of styles. I've got over here just like a, um, a 0.5 ballpoint and or it's, it's kind of like a gel pen actually it's like a gel ink um, and then this is the um, friction colors line which is like a marker they have highlighters they've got like stampers and they recently released um, a set of fine liners as well which i'm really excited to get my hands on hopefully pretty soon um, but they are erasable and they're not erasable like a pencil they're erasable um using as the name ex <laughs> intimates friction. Basically, you rub and it erases because it gets hot and there's a chemical reaction from the heat to the ink that makes it turn clear. So it stays on the paper, but you can't see it. So it's really convenient. There's all kinds of things you can do with them, as I listed all in that last video. But today, the question is, you lose your friction eraser, now what? Or say you're out and about, you're in a pinch, you didn't bring your friction with you, but you need to fix or change something that's in your planner or on your grocery list or whatever it is. Um, and what else could you use instead of a friction eraser? Today I'm going to be testing a whole bunch of different kinds of materials, and I don't know what's going to work out yet because I'm watching this along with you. Uh, we're going to test different materials and see what works best as an alternative friction eraser. Now, before I get started, I do want to say that Friction Pilot does sell like a standalone eraser that you can buy. So if you uh, are going to be, you know, out and about without your pens at any time, you know, if you're used to that, if that's something that you do a lot, then maybe investing in a standalone eraser would be a good choice for you. But this is if you're somewhere else altogether, what would work the best? So we're going to start with our control. Let's take a look real quick at the actual eraser that comes on the friction. It's the same um, depending, you know, whatever, so it comes in different colors, but it's the same material. It's like a very stiff kind of silicone rubber kind of thing. It's, you might be able to tell here, this is a old pen that I've had for years now and I use it frequently. Um, it's been deformed from rubbing and it has been, I guess, rubbed off slowly, but it's not nearly the kind of rubbing off and decoration that you get with a pencil eraser because it's not designed to come off with the ink the way that a pencil eraser comes off with the graphite. It's not meant to wear down really. Um, it just kind of does over time because obviously it will after a long time, but this one, I use this pretty frequently and it's, you know, untouched. So basically this is like a, a firm, pretty tough kind of silicone, I think. So we're going to start with that. I've got a line of friction colors and a line of the 05 that I just showed you. And we're going to see how amazing this works. So there you go. That's how that works. It looks nice and clean. That is the actual eraser and that'll be our control. Next, because I'm sure that you'd have this question, what happens if you use a pencil eraser? This is a Stedler standalone eraser that I've, I think I got this in Europe when I was studying abroad. I haven't used up too much of it. Anyway, I just think it's fun to mess around with, but this is a white rubber eraser. So let's see what happens. All right, you see, it's not nearly as quick. A bunch of it is coming off of the eraser. The rubber is wearing down. And it's surprisingly, as 
because I guess not creating that much heat compared, which is crazy. It does come off, but it takes a lot of work. Next up, this is, this is just a pen, a pen, and I'm only bringing this out because uh, it's kind of duplicated, but I have actually done this in a pinch myself when I forgot my friction pen at home, and so I was using a Pilot G2 that I had at work, and I needed to erase something and replace it with permanent ink, so I just used the tip of the back end of a Pilot G2. Now anything uh, with any of these, you're going to want something that doesn't have uh, something that can like tear into the paper, so you want something rounded and smooth. So you want to use the edge of this and not the part in the middle that has that dimple indent. I'm not sure if this is showing up as very well at all, but anyway, I'm just going to use the edge of this and basically you just kind of rub. It also it's a little tough, but it's working, I think, better than the pencil eraser. It's coming off in very tiny little lines, and so you have to go over it a few times. And it also is kind of smushing the paper underneath, like the paper is kind of shiny from where you're rubbing on it. So that's what that looks like. Next up, hard plastic. This is a... Uh, if you care the brand, this is a uh, eyeliner pencil sharpener from Julep. I happen to have it here in the office because actually I think this is the only pencil sharpener I own, so that's why it was in here. But it's a rounded hard plastic as well, so I'm going to try this. This is like a, a matte finish, so I don't know if that changes anything, but it's probably going to be similar to the G2. Oh no, this one works a lot better, I think because it has more surface area touching the paper. That works almost as well as the actual eraser. So there we go. That's good to know. Next up, I wanted to try wood, and I have this little wand. This is from Alavan's Wand Company. Hashtag not sponsored. I just, you know, am a dork, and so I have stuff like wands and sonic screwdrivers in my office, and it's got a rounded end as well. Both of these ends are rounded, but I think I'm using the bigger end um, and see what happens. I, my thought is that, like, yeah, this... This works well, but my thought is something that has a little bit more um, kind of grit to it might cause a little bit more friction, right? And it's still smooth. Like, I don't think it's going to tear up the paper, but let's see. Anyway. Okay. Yeah. I mean, these are all working a little bit. It's better than the pencil eraser, I'd say, but not... I'm actually having trouble getting this last little bit here, and it is sort of smushing the paper underneath more, if that makes sense. What I'm saying that it's like, you know, compressing the layers of the paper. Next, let's try this guy. This is a silicone teething toy from my baby daughter. I thought that since the actual eraser is silicone, that maybe something like this would work. Anything that you have that's made of silicone, some sort of kitchen tool or gadget or whatever, French spatula, I don't know. But this is softer than the friction eraser, so we will see if this works. Okay, if you try really, 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 really hard, there is some fading. But, ooh, yeah, it's too soft, and you have to just, it, you got to get, like, work up to getting it hot enough, I guess. So it doesn't work right away, but it does work eventually. And I guess if you give it a little bit of time, it is a pretty clean erase. Like, it's not messing up the paper the same way some of these harder things do, but it's taking a long time. Next, I thought that I would try uh, basically everything. I wanted to try something that was made out of metal, so I have a butter knife. Um, if your butter knife has more ornamental handles, then it might not work, but this one's very rounded, so let's see. Metal uh, heats up pretty quickly, right? Okay, maybe not. Yeah, no. Barely, barely any touch at all. Okay, don't use a butter knife on your planner. Lesson learned. Now, I don't have a lot of confidence in these last two. Why not? All of the materials I can think of. Glass. This is a shot glass. 
uh, with sort of a rounded bottom. The very bottom is not has some like ridges to it, so I'm just going to use the very edge. Whoa! Okay, this one works really well. Wow. Okay, I didn't expect that to work quite so well. I feel like it's not super clean. Oh, you know why? I wonder if it's the color that's on the on this. This works a lot better than I thought it would. Okay, that's weird. It's not still the very best. Okay, I'm gonna try the top. Sorry, this one's like baffling me. It's pushing the paper, as it were, more than the rubber options. But it's actually pretty clean, especially with the colors ink rather than the 05. Last one, uh, I needed an extra something to fit on my grid here. This is just a piece of a cardboard box. Why not? This was in my other theory of, you know, of uh, things that are more porous might work better, but we'll see. Okay, yeah, it's pushing the paper. It's all very shiny. Oh boy. Yeah, no, I didn't think that was going to work. Okay, let me see if I can show you what these have done to the paper. Okay, this is a little weird, but can you see um, like what the shot glass did, the wood, the G2, the plastic. There's a little bit of kind of a sheen where the fibers of the paper were kind of smushed and you can see that like the paper has been sort of deformed by those. So. You just have to consider that as one of your criteria and be aware that that can happen. So in the end, um, I was really surprised by how well the glass worked. It's not going to be the most convenient thing. I guess if you're at the dinner table and you have a glass of water, as long as it's not wet, you can try it. Um, but I would say overall, besides the actual friction eraser, the one that was the cleanest was uh, the plastic. The G2 worked fine, but it was too small. So you want something like my eraser that I found here, or my, my pencil sharpener that I found here that's got a rounded edge that's a lot of surface area. Like if I use this edge, maybe that would... Eh, eh, nope. Now I'm just making it messy. All right, <laughs> maybe I'm gonna have to retract that. The edge works really good. So um, yeah, something that is rounded, that is a, a hard plastic. Now I can't tell you whether it was the size more or the matte finish. So maybe something with a matte finish would work better. Um, but like I said, the G2 also works in a pinch. So basically anything that's rounded and it looks like hard plastic, I would say would be my second place replacement for the actual eraser. Um, the silicone didn't work too bad either. If you have something that's a hard silicone or that maybe is silicone coated something else, um, then that would be also something to try. And always like if you have the pen with you, you know, for whatever reason you're missing the, um, oh man, now it's looking really good. I'm using the, the firmer part. Okay, I'm gonna keep changing my mind because after all of this mess, can you see the texture that's on this? <laughs> this isn't real wood, guys. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm changing my mind. Use your baby's teether. That's the best thing you can possibly use. <laughs> Anything with silicone, I think, is the answer, which it's got the grippiness as well as the smoothness, and it actually it doesn't affect the paper. It doesn't make it shiny like you really, I'm sure you can't see that with the with the uh, camera, but like there's a shininess to the paper under everywhere else. The plastic, a little bit, the wood, definitely the glass a lot. The silicone doesn't even damage the paper. So there we go. Anything that's silicone, I would check out your, you know, kitchen department, something in your kitchen drawer probably has some silicone. The firmer, the better, the bigger, or if it's, you know, coated something else, give that a shot test in an inconspicuous area. And uh, yeah, I hope that that helps you. That was super interesting and I hope that you enjoyed that. Uh, let me see if I can. So this is called an apple teether or appy teether by Little Toter. 
don't know. This was given to us by a friend in the Philippines, or sorry, a cousin in the Philippines. Uh, so I don't know if those LOs here. I've never seen them. Anyway, that that's all I have to say, guys. I'm still a little bit surprised by this all and uh, which things really didn't work. I expected the metal to work at least a little bit. And yeah, anyway, I expected the pencil eraser to work. And it's got to be silicone, not rubber. So that is what we've learned today. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, guys. I post videos about planners and stuff and, well, stuff on the Sundays like this and planners on Thursdays. So subscribe, ring the bell, and I'll see you in the next one on Thursday. Bye.